Good morning. I've got it in my lap again today, except today I'm going to try to do it um, maybe where you're not seeing my lap so much. So I'm going to get my little palette out, and today I'm going to push back with some of this red behind these daisies, and I'm going to start out with a uh, quinacridone burnt orange and get a little bit of that. The smallest amount. So I've got my clean water, but I don't have my cheesecloth wet, which I need to do that. I wasn't ready. I'm going to use kind of a small uh, angle brush today because I'm going to be getting kind of into some small places. So here goes. I get some of this loaded in my brush. See how I just kind of pull out some with the tip and then work it in the bristles. And that is so that I can go at this slowly. Now this red here I want to incorporate the uh, two pieces of collage by using this red to do that. And um, it may take several layers. Yesterday I just drew this edge here, so today I'm going to bring some more color in. I'm going to uh, get out a little of the quinacridone crimson, which is the same thing, it's just not as orangey. Give me a little bit darker. Once again, I've sat down without my apron. Not sure what the red flowers will become at this point. But I know the daisies will be daisies. Notice anything different? I went and got my apron on. Not that any of this would show up on the black I'm wearing today, but actually what I got up to do was get this reference again. Um, and the thing that I thought was kind of interesting about this painting, uh, other than the part that was inspiring me was the floral, you know. But uh, what I thought was interesting was that the flowers are, hmm, and, you know, I don't even know, I don't know what kind of flowers they are just by looking. Um, I think it was, the artist was just kind of going for some colors 
that he wanted to use, uh, or she, Mabel, wanted to use. But, um, and we might have talked, I might have talked about this, but anyway, so I wanted to look at this again today and see how, I, how I'm going with this. Of course, I'm not using those colors, um, and I'm wanting to be, um, I mean, I guess this is an impressionistic thing, which of course, that's, I guess, what I'm doing too. But, um, I have another little piece of magazine. This may be what I do. I mean, I could have just collaged this on there, but that's not what I wanted to do. But these are little flowers, and I think that I might, in this red area, I might do a little bit of that with brush or white gel pen or something. Anyway, so that's all. But what I want you to look at now, if I can get it where you can see the whole thing, um, something that I, I like about what's going on. Of course, over here you have to visualize that I'm, I am going to do something that is in this vein. I have some ideas on that, but in mine, when I get that, I have a nice flow going with the daisies popping out. The, this white kind of circles around. I think that's, um, I, I like that comp in the composition. You also kind of can see it with what I've done so far with her clothing and this red and even in the orange family coming around so I think that's nice. Anyway, back to back to a little bit of red. Won't won't be doing too much more of this today. Um, because I guess I need to I mean, I, I'm kind of getting out of time here. Getting too much. So, I'm going to continue with this where I use the dark value to make the uh, the daisy pop out. I liked some of that, but not quite so quickly. I like to just chase it on out. See when that red layers over that green, it just kind of is darkens it, sets it back. Okay.
Alright. I think I'm gonna get a little paint gray out. Paints gray is good. I think it's good shading, shadowy area. Baker brush. Juicy, juicy brush. See how it, it uh, tones down the colors if you want them toned down. And you see the blue, but you would not have known that that layer was there had I not shown you. it all up. Okay. This area here, uh, I like that um, I like that she's in there. But what if this were a little bouquet that you can't see her hand but she's holding and and what what about the fact that we see this part of her body but this disappears over here i actually like that 
but um, I don't know. Those are the things that um, are running through my mind and that I am thinking about. Those are the things that I'm going to be thinking about today at my office. Mm -hmm.